and when, when you do that and the referee tells you to fight, that's a that's not a good thing because you literally showed that you were hurt by that. And then, you know, I told you guys that I felt his biggest mistake was gonna be his arrogance. I was gonna get him in trouble. He just couldn't tell him he hurt me. You know, when they asked him about, you know, me having the power to stop him, he laughed at me. You know, at the way in, it's like, he just wasn't ready for it. You know, anybody can be hurt, anybody can be stopped. So you always gotta have a sober mind when you get into a fight like that. It feels real good, you know, I feel vindicated, you know. Um, like I said, I never had a problem with people saying that the fight was close, it was. And, you know, I got to take ownership for, you know, not putting on my best performance. I definitely didn't feel like I heard some people say, oh, it's home cooking. It's like, I didn't agree with that stuff. And, you know, I felt like they took it too far, but close fight, yes. But just the excuses were just over the top, man. And I felt like the excuses showed me so much about him and his character. And that, you, you don't get to just not bring that character into the ring. That same guy is coming into the ring. And I knew in my heart of hearts, and I told you, I said, man, that's a weakness, and I got to tap into that. I would have been concerned if that dude said, look, man, I felt I won, and I'm going to go back to work, and I'm going to figure it out. And, and he got quiet. That's the guy that I'm concerned about. He did too much talking, and he revealed too much Andre, you have got about himself. You're holding the record for the most wins of a professional athlete you have lost since you were 12. In a long time. How crazy is that? And you fight the highest level? It's a blessing, man. I mean, I don't, like, you can't even, like, predict that kind of stuff or do that intention. It was just, just years of working, man. And, you know, I... Like, we don't over-celebrate our victories, man. You know, we probably should celebrate our victories more, but because we don't do that, it just it forces me to keep pushing. I never feel like it's enough. Man. What does it mean for your city of Oakland? It's big. It's huge because Oakland don't always get a lot of credit, man. You know, they just say we're a small market team, but we got a lot of talent to keep producing. Tell me about this young gentleman right here, smiling. Yeah. I'm, man, I'm just... It's the future, man. It's the future. All, all he has to do is just stay focused, stay humble, and keep working hard. You know, he's got it. And uh, God's going to bless him, man. The sky's the limit for him, man. He's going to be a star in this sport. Andre, where did... It's perfectionist, but it's, it's Verge, just the way I was raised in the gym. You know, like, he wouldn't let me... He wouldn't let me come to the corner when I was 15, 16 years old and make an excuse why I didn't have a good round. He made me go out there and figure it out. And just years and years of that, just you cultivate that type of heart mentality to say, look, I got to find a way. Because when you fight the best, man, it's not easy. It's, it's ebbs and flows. It's adjustments. It's a lot of little stuff that you guys see, some things you guys don't see. And the guys who are able to make those adjustments on the fly, like I'm literally going back to the corner and saying, man, that was, okay, man, he caught me with this. I got to. Like, it's, it's, it's going fast, but I, that's kind of the way I've been raised and trained in the sport. And you showed even more wrinkles in this fight? Would I had say, to. Would you say this fight was easier? Was it the same? I felt like it was easier, a little bit. It wasn't easy. Still got some bruises on my face, but uh, I'll take that. Uh, but that's to be expected, man. It's a championship fight against another great fighter. It's not going to be easy. Where did you? I got way too much respect, man, for... The guys who went before me, that's not even an area I want to play in, man. I respect them guys. I'm just happy to be named amongst some of the great guys who have fought in this sport. Where did that power from the right hand come from? Was that is that something you've always had in your arsenal? Man, it's just about getting the right shot in there. You know, it's, not, it's nothing, it's no newfound power. I told you guys a couple days ago, I said, man, if he gets hit right, he can go. Nobody's exempt, man. Like, I don't care what his nickname is, what his reputation is. If you get hit right, you can wobble and you can go especially when you don't think it's possible. You gotta always give an opponent the benefit of the doubt and say, man, look, he ain't known for this, but I gotta be, I gotta be on point. Did you feel the knockout coming? In the middle of the fight, did you feel you were gonna stop? I knew he was breaking down. I didn't know if I was gonna stop. I knew it was breaking down. And Burge kept saying, look, man, he's breaking down. So I'm taking it a, a round at a time. And, you know, I just felt like if I kept stepping on the gas, and getting the right shots in there. I was a little disappointed, man, because I felt like Weeks was breaking us a little too quick, um, and I couldn't get my work in. So I felt like the breakdown process took a little longer, but I did feel like he was breaking down, and I felt like he was going to go at some point. Nah, I mean, it's, it's the same. Like, you know, I'm, I say it again. He's not the biggest puncher I fought. Like, he landed one big shot last last round. He didn't, he didn't beat me up. He didn't have me, you know, 
wobbled out. Like I got knocked down. I got up. I weathered the storm for 30 seconds and then went back to work. Like he caught me with a good shot. But people aren't used to seeing me down there. So it was like a huge shock and I understand it. But like it's nothing I haven't felt before. I would probably give him more credit for his accuracy and timing than I would his power. Andre, how does it feel to win a fight like this where there's seemingly bad blood and your reputation was on the line? Um, this is how I wanted to win, man. I wanted to leave no doubt. I wanted to create separation, uh, and we did that tonight, man. And, you know, I got to watch the fight. I don't know if the fight could have went longer or not, but I, I think it was inevitable. You know, I think I don't think he would have recovered from that right hand and those body shots. Like, those, it was a cold combination going on. You got hit to the head, and I think he was hurt probably with like maybe 40 seconds left in the round. Like, it was a lot of time left, and he still didn't recover. He, he barely threw anything back, so he was hurt. He, he was out on his feet. I don't know if he would recover the next round. Is it the best performance of your career? Um, I prop, like, I say right now, just everything that's around the first fight, the quality of fighter he is, I would probably have to say so right now. What's the next